Nothing, however, delights the mind as much as loving and loyal friendship. Seneca. And nothing leaves the mind as lonely as the lack of loving and loyal friendship. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't mean to start this video off on such a negative notion. Let's restart. When I think about the best moments of my life, every single one of those moments involves my friends. Every one of them. The first thing that pops to mind is my theater memories from high school. I did 20 shows over four years with some of my best friends and it was just a blast. I remember one time we were performing the show Treasure Island and we had like three performances in a single day. We had two for elementary school children during the school day and then one for general audiences that night. And we had already been through tech week and the entire company was exhausted. So I remember between shows, I think two and three, we took a mandatory nap. Our director made it mandatory for us to take a nap. We were like, you know, 17, 18 year olds in high school and we had a mandatory nap time. I think that's so funny. Anyways, me and some of my friends took our nap in like a giant cuddle puddle. We were just like laying out on the sawdust covered stage, completely surrounded by pirate themed props, just passed out. Yeah, I've had some fun times. In my last video, I talked about some of the mental health problems I had in high school and continue to work through today. And I've never been diagnosed and I'm not trying to compare my life to anyone else's. But I had some really not fun moments in high school. The most prominent were a couple breakups. I had some family issues, but then there was also just like the regular high schooler angst that I think most people have. The really low moments weren't actually all that often but I know that they would be more common if it weren't for my friends. There were a handful of people that I relied on for like direct moral support. My friend Maddie, bless her heart, um, she put up with so much of my emotional baggage over the years. Reese seems to listen to all of my YouTuber related issues with what seems like infinite patience and to anyone I've ever dated, to quote our first president, I am nevertheless too sensible of my defects not to think it probable that I may have committed many errors. And so, in other words, thank you for putting up with me. But there's also the friends who were just always there for a good time, you know? We never talked about heavy stuff or our feelings. We just had fun together. I love these people too. So I was listening to a podcast interview with this band, the 1975, and their lead singer, Maddie Healy, was talking about his experience with addiction. The Birthday Party is a song off of their newest album, and spoiler alert, it's not about a birthday party. I depend on my friends to keep me clean. That's the line. Now, let me be clear, I have never done heroin, but the song still speaks to me. In all of my worst moments, my friends have been there to help me out. I depend on my friends. Life is kind of tough right now. I think that's pretty universal. There's a pandemic going on, which when I think about it is really the only thing that affects me personally, but I look around and I see all this other stuff affecting everyone else. The Black Lives Matter movement, Native Americans are disadvantaged, wildfires in California, the explosion in Beirut, homeless people during a pandemic, and so much more that I don't even know about. I want to help. I want to make the world a better place in some way. But I also know that humans are selfish by nature, and I can see it in myself that I want my time and effort to result in actual change. I want to be able to see it. So what is something that I could do in my daily life that would result in a direct positive impact? I could be a friend. Look, I know it sounds cheesy, but hear me out. If my own friends had such a positive impact on me, that means that there's someone else out there who needs that positive impact. I could be that person, whether I already know them or have never met them. There are a couple things I know that make a good friend. Listen, beyond just hearing the words, know when to give advice and when to just be a pair of ears. 
be available. You never know when someone else truly needs a friend. Be ready to drop your plans when someone else needs you. Be adaptable. Every friendship is unique. Just let me say it again for the people in the back. I love my friends. And I want to be there for them when they need me. If you're watching this video, even if we've never met, you can consider me a friend. If you need someone to listen to you, or if you just need someone to have a good time playing some Fall Guys with, I am here for you. I depend on my friends to keep me clean. Wait, 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 before we end this video, I remembered the fourth quality of a good friend. Subscribing to this YouTube channel. I don't make the rules, I'm just the messenger. That's all I got for today. Thank you for watching. Come say hi to me in the comments. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye, friends.